Ingress Agent 57 Cell here. Today we're going to talk about a drone flight planner plugin that I made for IITC. The purpose of the plugin is to help you plan how to get the furthest possible drone flight distance in your city. I've also got some brand new information on how to easily get portals to appear in the drone view that wouldn't normally appear. I made it way too long ago. It wasn't quite ready for public release. Now the good news is it's still not ready really, but I'm releasing it anyway. This is how you get the plugin. You go to your favorite search engine and look for, I don't know, 57 cell plugins, 57 cell IATC, GitHub, something like that. You should find this page. If you click on plugins, then drone flight planner, then you click on drone flight planner user.js and you want to click on the button raw. You'll see here, this will probably say install for you. So click on it and that should install the plugin ready for when you load up IITC. Here I have the Intel map. I'm going to refresh the page and you should see the word drone flight planner appears here. Here we go, I'll refresh, and there we have it, plan drone flight. I want to show you how to use this plugin to plan a path for your drone that will maximize your drone flight distance stat. We got, we've gone to Bali, Indonesia, because there's an anomaly there coming up. First, I'm just having a look around the island. There's the main city there. It looks like there's also towns and villages across the north coast. I don't know which of those is best for a drone flight, but let's go to the capital city here. I doubt that we can get across here to the west of the island from the capital, but we'll try. First of all, I'll say plan drone flight. What you want to do is you want to make sure that the Intel map is zoomed in so that this says portals. I have to zoom in a bit here because this is saying all links. Zoom in a bit more. Now it says portals. You want to zoom out as much as possible and it still says portals. The portals are loading for this part of Bali, Indonesia. And let's just have a look at the plugin. There's a whole bunch of buttons here. You can see various colors that you'll see as I start to use it. Path optimization doesn't matter at first because when you're first planning your drone flight, you want to have the optimization type to none. So it's not really going to care about what kind of optimization is just going to find a path that your drone could follow. So leave that at none at first. Now the long hop length, when you open the drone view in your scanner, only some portals appear. Now the portals that appear in the view are determined by a rather complicated but known algorithm. For example, here's a different drone flight planner uh, by Agent Taystone. And with this one, when it's activated, if I click on a portal, you'll see this little green grid appear. The portals within this green grid are the ones I can jump to from this one. This purple circle is the 1.25 kilometer limit. These portals here won't appear in the drone view without the key trick, which I'll explain. This more accurate way to determine what portals can be jumped to is not in my plugin. I've got long hop length as kind of an approximation to that, a simple, simple proxy instead of the more complex, accurate method. Although only some portals appear in the view, there is a way to get more portals to appear there. Let me show you that. Here's some cute rabbit portals and I'm going to try to jump my drone to them. There they are in the scanner. Now if I open the drone view, you'll see my drone is quite close to them, but just a little bit out of range. You can see where the rabbits should be right there at the top of the scanner. And as you can see, the rabbit portals have not loaded in the view. The key trick for getting new portals works like this you relaunch Ingress and before you look at the drone view, you look at the keys you've got. That's what I'm doing now. I've gone down my list of keys. I'm examining the rabbit portals. 
and sometimes this makes the portal appear in the drone view but not always you'll see it's failed to load the rabbit portals this time too I do have a theory about why the key trick sometimes fails to load those extra portals and I'm going to test it now here we have the four rabbit portal if I click on one then Taystone's drone plugin shows these green cells and you can see that all four of these rabbit portals are in the same green cell here now I'm going to go and get a key for gumnut flower which is in a different cell from these other four but still very nearby all right here we are now ignore my ugly glyph hacking there we go and I've got the key that I need now it's much later and I'm ready to try to hop my drone again launching ingress afresh now when I open my key view you can see the bunny rabbit portals and also the new key that I got gum nut flower so I'll tap on the portals maybe have a look at their resonators and so forth now I'm ready to go to the drone view and this time ready for it the portals have loaded the bunny rabbit portals and gum nut flower have loaded in the view my theory is the key trick works much more reliably if you have a couple of different green cells represented in the keys you have for the area anyway once you've got the portal to appear in the view you can hop your drone across to it as long as it's closer than 1.25 kilometers that's the key trick that's how you can get longer drone flight paths than if you just rely on what's normally visible anyway back to the plugin the first thing I'm going to say is use portals in view when you're first planning your drone flight you'll click on that a lot but now I have to choose a start portal so if I click say wedding chapel there and now it's showing all the possible paths for the drone all possible paths are in yellow there and the longest path it found is highlighted there in red and if we zoom all the way out you can see there's the little corner of Bali so far that the that our drone flights can reach I'll zoom back in up here the part it's explored I'll push that all the way down to the bottom of the screen there when all the portals have loaded I click use portals in view again and there we go we might as well get this half of this little peninsula or whatever this is called while we're here and I'll say use portals in view again all right now the longest path it's found is cutting straight across this southern section of land here I doubt that's the longest path in Bali so let's scroll a bit further north oh this is only showing all links I have to zoom in all right there we go I've zoomed in until it says portals and now I wait till the portals load use portals in view the yellow mess is every single possible path your drone could follow from the start portal and the red one in this case as I mentioned is the shortest drone path now we just keep doing this move the screen use portals in view move the screen again I'm going to try and go to the west but look at all that farmland there's not going to be a lot of portals there I suspect use portals in view use portals in view you always want to leave a little bit of the area that it's already explored within the view when so that it can connect the portals you're seeing with the portals it's already explored use portals in view hmm that did something but not very much it sure looks like we're not going to be able to go any further west here let's try exploring eastwards instead use portals in view 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 that didn't seem to extend the path much further where else have we not explored properly if I zoom right out I, I can see the rough area that I've explored so far about around the coast here I had don't think I've included these portals here is that gonna help use portals in view that looks like it's about it go a bit further north use portals in view use portals in view oh we've managed to make the path longer can we hit 50 kilometers 
let's use the bottles in view and see. And yes, 52 kilometers at least. It's possible to get your drone to fly at least 52 kilometers in Bali. There is one thing I can do to try to get a bit of extra distance. Let's do that now. Let's say I've finished exploring as much as I want. I'll zoom out and we can see the whole of the region that we've that we've looked at. This is the path it's found from the start portal all the way up to there. And you might be thinking, hey, if I'd picked a start portal over here, wouldn't that be better? And the answer is yes. Can the plugin help you with that? Yes. All you have to do is switch the end and start. It will take a little while to think, but there you go. It switched the end portal and the start portal, and now this is all the ways to get from this portal up here. And the longest path, as we guessed, is now towards the west of this mini peninsula here. It's 56 kilometers. There's a 56, almost 57. Come on, guys. We just need one more portal. It's not guaranteed that switching end to start will give the shortest path, but if you switch them a few times, then yes. And now we've got a 57.73 kilometer path. Now when I switch the end to the start, or oh, 57.91, but now it's not improving things any further. So we've fully explored portals in Denpasar, Bali. Well, as many as we need to, to find the best possible drone flight path. The thing is starting to grind a bit. It's grinding a bit as it tries to find even a path with no optimization at all. If I say clear most portals, don't clear unused or all at this stage, just clear most portals. That will only keep the portals on and near this path it's found. It's actually quite pretty when you click that to see what happens. Boom, there we go. Now it's time to actually start optimizing better. All right, so what kind of optimization do we want? If you say minimize keys needed, it will not make you get a key unless it's absolutely necessary. Minimize hops will say, hey, you love key farming. You want the hops to be as long as possible. But then each time you jump your drone along that path, you'll have to use the key trick. Balancing keys and hops is somewhere in between there. Let's leave it on minimize keys needed for now. And now what we'll do is switch the optimization type to greedy. This will pretty quickly find a path for your drone that basically does what it says on the box. The path is now mostly purple with just a couple of red hops because purple is the color for the short hop which you don't need a key for, you don't need the key trick. There's one more useful button and an important warning. The button first is export to draw tools. When you click on that, you won't see anything visibly change, but now draw tools has all of those little edges as a drawing in your IRTC. So the path will be there when you come back to Intel later. And the warning, make sure you copy and paste this plan into your favorite word processor before you refresh Intel. The plugin does not remember anything between refreshes and that would be very frustrating if you spend a lot of time panning around the map, collecting portals to plan your path. Note the portals which might need a key because they need a long hop. And then, then you're ready to plan your key farming expedition to drive out to the first portal and place your drone and then sit back in your living room and hop and hop and hop and hop and hop until you have cracked the maximum possible drone path distance in your city. I've exported to draw tools, I've got the drone path saved and you see when I refresh the plugin has forgotten everything. All that's left is the draw tools lines that show where your drone should hop. Te and of course, the text list of the portals that your drone should visit. You don't have to follow these hops exactly. Of course, the drone flight distance is based on the first and last portals. If you start at the first portal, get to the last one. That's the same distance, however you got there. That's all for this video. I hope you find this plugin useful. And if you crack your drone flight record, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. 57 Cell, 
signing out.